Hello and welcome to Byju's Exam Prep. Welcome to the big news. Before we begin, I would like to remind you about our free All India Prelims mock test series for 2023. The second free test under this initiative shall take place on 13th of November, that is this coming Sunday at 9:30 a.m. and this shall be a sectional test on Indian polity. So all serious aspirants for the 2023 prelims will benefit from the free mock test. and hence i urge you to register immediately by using the link provided in the description box below so in today's big news we shall talk about the mangrove alliance for climate at the ongoing 27th conference of parties to the un climate change convention which is being held at sharm el sheikh in egypt a new climate initiative has been launched yesterday called the mangrove alliance for climate and india has joined the initiative as one of the founding members So this happens to be a big breaking development in the field of environment ecology and climate change and hence let's cover this topic in complete detail. See the Mangrove Alliance for Climate has been launched by UAE and Indonesia to protect and restore the world's mangrove cover as mangrove forests act as natural carbon sinks which are very effective in sequestering carbon and also help in storing carbon away from the atmosphere. thereby playing a major role in tackling global warming and climate change so with this objective in mind united arab emirates and indonesia have launched the mangrove alliance for climate and along with india countries such as sri lanka australia japan spain and others which also have a healthy mangrove cover have all joined the initiative this would be a intergovernmental initiative that would be formed on a voluntary basis and the parties to the initiative can decide their voluntary targets along with the deadlines to conserve and protect and restore the mangrove cover in their countries so this initiative will not provide for any binding targets and there won't be any review mechanism to hold the members accountable with regard to meeting their targets however members would be free to announce their voluntary initiatives and voluntary targets and collaborate with each other in helping restore their mangrove cover so the parties can share their expertise their knowledge with each other and extend support in protecting the mangrove areas and since this is in line with india's climate action commitments india's environment minister has confirmed that india is joining this initiative in order to advance the global cause of mangrove protection and conservation india already has extensive experience in protecting its mangrove cover so india would be adding to the global knowledge base along with drawing support from the other members in addressing deforestation and in making efficient use of mangrove cover as carbon sinks see mangrove forests are essentially trees and shrubs that are found along the coastal areas in the intertidal region particularly in coastal wetlands and it happens to be a very unique ecosystem because in these coastal wetland and marshy areas the conditions are extremely harsh and hostile because of constant water logging high salt content and extremely low oxygen levels despite these harsh conditions mangroves thrive in such coastal wetland ecosystems as a result of the number of unique adaptations that they have undergone for example to support their weight in weak soil system mangroves have developed stilt roots or prop roots that provides additional mechanical support to the tree to breathe and exchange oxygen in such high saline low oxygen conditions mangroves have developed unique roots called pneumatophores that pop out of the soil system and through the small pores present on the spongy tissue they exchange gases it even has mechanisms to remove excess salt accumulation and by displaying such successful adaptation mangroves have thrived even in harsh conditions thereby making this a very resilient ecosystem as a result the ecosystem also happens to be very diverse as mangroves play host to a number of organisms and plays a critical role in the context of fighting global climate change in fact mangrove forests display such a great deal of biodiversity that they are even referred to as the ocean's nursery because they are home to a number of marine organisms including algae mollusks crabs shrimps etc and they even play host to a number of migratory birds and even accommodate large organisms such as crocodiles tigers etc mangrove forests 
also act as a natural buffer along the coastline by protecting the coastal areas against coastal erosion and also against coastal disasters such as tsunamis cyclones etc these mangrove forests play a critical role with regard to combating climate change as well because mangrove ecosystems are very efficient carbon sinks they can sequester large volumes of co2 by directly capturing it from the atmosphere through the process of photosynthesis and the carbon that is captured is sequestered and they hold it for long periods of time thus acting as an efficient store of carbon mangroves not only help in removal of carbon from the atmosphere but they also prevent the release of co2 back into the atmosphere even upon their destruction because the carbon remains that are stored particularly in the leaves and roots of mangroves they become submerged below the water where the carbon remains locked for centuries and this low release of co2 back into the atmosphere even after mangroves have been destroyed makes the mangroves a great carbon sink studies have shown that mangrove forests have the ability to store up to 10 times more carbon per hectare than terrestrial forests as most of the captured carbon is stored below the ground they can store carbon up to 400% faster than land based tropical rainforests thus giving them the unique ability to act as a natural carbon sink and hence conservation of mangroves has been gaining more attention with regard to global climate action these mangrove forests are well distributed in the tropical subtropical regions of the world and south asia also has a very good resource of mangrove forests within south asia more than half of the mangrove forests are present along india's coastline with sundarbans being one of the world's largest mangrove ecosystems located in west bengal sundarbans is not just a unesco world heritage site but also a ramsar site of international importance and it is home to a rich biodiversity and also acts as a critical carbon sink mangrove cover is also found distributed along the andaman nicobar islands lakshadweep islands the gulf of kutch region near gujarat and the jamnagar region and is also found to be distributed along the coast of maharashtra odisha andhra pradesh tamil nadu parts of goa karnataka and as well as kerala but the highest percentage of mangrove cover in india is found in west bengal and according to the forest survey report of 2021 mangrove cover in india extends nearly to 4900 square kilometers that accounts for nearly 0.15 percentage of the country's geographical area but however these delicate ecosystems are facing increased threats as a direct result of anthropogenic activities especially infrastructure projects such as expansion of industries construction of coastal roads and railway lines and even natural processes such as coastal erosion storms and as well as industrial pollution of water bodies have all resulted in significant destruction of mangrove habitats studies have shown that over the last 2 to 3 decades around the world mangrove habitats have been destroyed as a direct result of man made activities and this destruction is extremely high especially in asia that's the reason why countries with a significant mangrove cover have come together to form this initiative called the mangrove alliance for climate according to the forest survey report in india alone between 2010 to 2020 around 600 square kilometers of mangrove forests were lost as a direct result of human activities and since 2019 mangrove cover has increased in our country only by 17 square kilometers so this explains india's willingness to join this new initiative led by uae and indonesia as india also has a target to create an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons of co2 by adding more forest and tree cover by 2030 as a part of its intended nationally determined contributions or voluntary contributions under the paris agreement to the climate change convention as part of these voluntary targets under paris agreement india has not only been trying to reduce its emissions intensity and increase its non fossil based energy resources but parallelly it is also trying to create an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons this is the path that india has opted to achieve carbon neutrality by 2070 and creating new carbon sinks from mangrove forests is a top priority for india so by joining the mangrove alliance for climate initiative india would be looking to contribute its expertise in conserving mangroves while collaborating with the other members and also drawing upon their experience in conserving the critical mangrove ecosystems so this brings our discussion to an end 
And if you benefited from the initiative, do let us know by liking the video, share your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.